morning. Let's do a makeup look. Today I want to, I'm going to try some techniques. I'm going to put my makeup on first, my found, face makeup first, my foundation, which I don't usually do as of late. Lately I've been doing my eyes first, but today I'm going to do my face first. I mixed La Mer Renewal Oil and Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel from Clinique together. I want a lot of moisture because I'm going to put on a long wear. I'm going to put on the Soft Matte Foundation from NARS. Get it out, Jenny. I have a wet beauty blender that I'm going to use. I have on another band t-shirt today. It's Blondie. This is quite a experience receiving this one. I ordered it and when I ordered it, I ordered it off from a boutique, I think out in Arizona. And they had it a blondie t-shirt that was a baseball tee and I ordered it during the shutdown anyway I didn't get it didn't get it didn't get it finally I had to call them and they said that it looked like I was coming to pick it up <laughs> and so they said we'll get that out in the mail to you immediately well when they when I received it, it was not a baseball tee, it was a muscle tee. <laughs> and I thought, man, they had such a hard time getting this right that I'm not gonna mess with them anymore. I'll just keep this. It, it could turn out my not having any blondie at all and have paid for it. I just didn't want to mess with them anymore. So I just kept the, I just kept the muscle tea. So I've already, I had a, my morning was going really well this morning until right before I cut on the camera and I had a little, little accident. I, I fixed my hair for the, for the video you know, just just the curls a little, the wave a little bit, and then moved the curling, unplugged the curling iron and moved it off my desk, moved it over out, over that way, out of the way, and there's hardwood floor over there, and I had it set up so it wouldn't burn the floor, wouldn't melt the carpet, blah, blah, blah. Then I hopped up to shut the curtains so that the harsh glare from the angle of the sun wouldn't mess up my video and I stepped on the curling iron and it was still so hot that when I stepped on it it went Shh. I know how stupid can you be I mean have you ever heard of that before? Have you ever heard of anybody burning the arch of their foot on their curling iron? I bet if I went over to Dock in the Box to get some, some pain meds, it hurts. It hurts really bad. They wouldn't believe me. They would say I, need, I needed some, re, some retard pills. <laughs> Not pain bells. All right. All right. I needed to find a palette that had enough mattes in it. Yesterday I did the look with the Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerizing Maroons. And I woke up this morning with goopy eyes. I guess it was because I had so much glitter in my eyes. It's probably user error. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit. I did put a little bit of foundation on my lips, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono Eye Color in Nude also on my lids for a primer. 
comes in a pot like this, kind of like a paint pot. Yeah, I should use the paint pot, shouldn't I? I have one. I have one in painterly. I have one in painterly and one in soft ochre. The only thing about the soft ochre is it turns cool colors warm. Like if you put a black over soft ochre, it turns it green. All right, there's my eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna take a fluffy delium brush and I'm gonna take the color Beach. And I'm gonna start mapping out this color. This eye look. And I'm using the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. And I'm not gonna use any of the sparkles in it. I'm only gonna use the mattes. And I was watching a video this morning and I saw a technique that I wanted to try. So I'm gonna try that right now. I'm going to take some more mare, the powder, and stamp that right here on the outside. Put in the comments if you know what video I was watching to get this idea from. All right, now I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I think I'm gonna take a pencil brush. And I'm gonna take, that one's sparkly. I'm gonna take magma and keep that in small. And it, it spread some anyway. I guess it's because my eyes are so deep set that where they're the deepest set, the two, the two sides touch each other. So this is a pencil brush. It's a no-name pencil brush. Jaclyn Hill's brush set has a pencil brush in it, but I think it's in my kit, my freelance kit. Now I'm gonna take another very small brush. This one is from Jaclyn Hill. This one is the 39. And I'm gonna take deep dive from the Natasha Denona palette. and fill in that outside corner. Mm, I wanted to try those little tiny individual lashes I saw in the Shani pack yesterday. I wanted to try those today. I think I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury pillow top. Put that on my tight line. It really doesn't move. And I'm going to put it, come at, come at that lash line from the top too. Also, it needs to be sharpened. It's starting to scratch my eye. That's all we need is more injuries. It's going to be fun standing on my feet doing hair and makeup with a burn on the arch. I know that's what I get for being a dumbass. Soften this a little bit. This is the deep dive and this is the little pencil brush number 39 from from Jaclyn Hill. Yes, 39. There. Now I'm going to put a I'm going to put the color sun down on my lid. Put 
putting it on with my finger so I can get good payoff. I will put something bright but matte on the inside in a little bit. Let's do eyebrows. I'm going to put the Tarte Opening Act on my brows. It's a lash primer. And then I'm going to cover it up with a brow powder. I'm going to use the Focal Lure today. I have been using the Brow Gal, but today it's, we're going to use the Focal Lure. Hey, Taco. Can you hear his toenails? He just got back from his walk with Pat. Did you have a nice walk, Taco? Hmm? Hey, you want to come up here? Say hey to everybody. Hey, everybody. He smells like outdoors. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or... It's not a good thing. It, it's goaty smelling. He's... Do you want some brows? Do you... Do you want some brows? Forgot where I was talking to the dog. Oh, I messed up my brow. See, he's in my lap. Do you know where you're going? Do you, do you like the things that I would show you? I don't know if there's any more brow powder in there or not. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything. Wow, you're goaty. What happened? Okay, there's the brows. Now let's brush them. Here, I'll let y'all see Taco. See, he's right there. doesn't work out for doing makeup though. We have to keep the camera angled up. Oh, I'm sorry, I bumped the little doggy head. Okay, now we need a highlight. Let me find a highlight. I'm gonna pull out the Lorac, Lorac palette and I'm gonna use the highlight in that underneath my brow. It's satiny, it's not, it's not glittery. And this is the original color I was using. <laughs> he really feels like he's been snookered, like we lied to him or something when, when we both don't go for the walk. All right, he feels like we pulled a fasty on him. Let's see, this one's the yellow highlight. Let's see what this looks like right here. It's the inner corner highlight. This is from the Lorac palette. I'm just avoiding sparkly stuff today. That was annoying yesterday. The, the sparkles in my contacts. That Charlotte Tilbury mesmerizing maroon is absolutely gorgeous. But I guess I get over exuberant with the packing on of the glittery colors and I end up with a good bit of it in my eyes. 
Yeah, Taco's really small. He feels like we were cheating him today. All right, my foundation is already on. So I'm gonna go ahead with the contour portion of the show. That's a good boy, he's laying down. I'm going to use a no-name brand contour brush. Like I said before, I highly recommend the e.l.f. contour brush. It's only $6 at Target. This is the darkest color from the Lorac, the Pro Lorac, this one. I've had it for about 100 years. I think they still make it. I think I've seen it when I've gone to link it. When I have searched out this product online, I have located it again. And I think I saw it on the Ulta site. Anyway, I'm contouring around my hairline, putting it in there, putting it a little heavier up there where I'm in my temples. going to contour my nose. <sighs> contour my jawline. My ears are shiny because I think my eczema moved to my earlobes. <laughs> I haven't worn any earrings at all, but my ears are still acting silly. I'm going to say this is so soft. This is a Sonic Kashuk brush and it's so soft. I'm going to save it for powder. I'm going to use a Luxie brush for my bronzer. Wow, this Lorac palette is really pigmented. I think that my skin's still a little blotchy. What blush shall we use? I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury, Love is the Drug Again. I'm putting the pop on right here in the front. The swish, I'm gonna put here. I want to use the little individual lashes that I found yesterday. I still have my person with me. He, he doesn't care what we do as long as he's touching me. Touching me, touching you. Is that a song? I know, I like this song talk. Too bad I can't carry a tune, right? I mean, okay, here's these little, and I'm gonna try to do these today. They're really cute. I'm going to take the glue. I think I still have, yep, I do. Still have glue on my comp compact from yesterday. Take one of these little lashes. Boy, they're T90. Stick it in the glue. I think with these individual lashes, it works better to just go straight in quickly. 
and just lay it down. Okay, I have my lashes on. I put six on the top and four on the bottom. And we'll let those dry and then I'm going to put some mascara on. I have not put mascara on yet. I'm going to sweep away the powder. Whoops. I actually just put more on, didn't I? Here, I use this brush. This brush is clean. Wow. That's just terrific. Got it in my lashes, too. Turned out pretty good. Oh, I haven't put on under eye concealer yet. This is more of the La Mer powder. Let's go ahead and do some mascara. I'm going to use the Dark Star. I'm going to do it gently so I don't pull his lashes out. They may not be fully set up yet. I'm kind of stamping it underneath. Well, that was a fun experiment, wasn't it? All right. I'm just brushing away that powder. All right, I have another experiment. I'm gonna take this steel liquid lip. It is, I don't know what it's called. The color is pant patina. I'm going to use it as a lip liner. Stila Patina Liquid Lip. It's uh, the Stay All Day Liquid lipstick. So there's that. Then I'm going to take the Too Faced and I think it's Sunset Crush is the lip gloss. Okay, that wants to go over there. We'll let it go there. I would really like to buff all this in. Pew, somebody just passed gas in my lap. I wonder if he got his poop when he went on his walk. I'll have to ask Pat. He may may have not pooped. He may have been hold oh. Oh, he may have been holding it for me. Okay, this is creme de nude. And another coat of Dark Star. I finished my book last night, The uh, If the Creek Don't Rise. It was good. It was poetic justice. All right. I like the way my my look came out. Let me back off some. Oh. Taco and I Taco and I enjoyed doing this makeup look with you today, 
and he wants you to be sure and buy a Charleston Makeup Artist t-shirt and a teeth whitening kit so that he can have a big Christmas. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow night.